What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Crack and Packs MTG. Matt here, and we have a couple more Walmart MJ Holdings Magic Mystery Power Boxes. We're just gonna do two for right now. I've got a couple more of these, so we'll probably do a couple more videos. But uh, I don't know if you can tell, I'm a little under the weather. I lost my voice yesterday, just now kind of getting it back. But uh, I told you guys I'll do the drawing for the Red Beard bundle. Um, all you had to do is be on his last video. Go to his channel, subscribe if you hadn't already, comment, tell Matt sent you, et cetera, et cetera. So we're going to pick a winner for that. Um, also, there was like, just so everybody knows, when I announce a winner, the winner will be at the end of my video. And you will need to contact me because we had somebody that was going through the post, contacting people, tell them they won. And then we're asking for additional shipping. With me, you will never have to pay for shipping. And like I said, I will have the post at the end of the video. And you will have to contact me. So if you get if you get a message telling you you won, that was not me. So, but without further ado, let's get started. First up, we have Rachel, the queen of the mighty beef wags. And we're going to see how this goes. Oh, and if you haven't already, as always, please subscribe. Like the video. Leave me a comment that we get on the giveaways. It's almost in the month, and we're pretty close to 16,000 subscribers. So we may be giving away two booster boxes this month. So these have been, the last ones we opened were pretty decent. I mean, as far as pack value goes. Now there has been, what I have noticed, a second wave of these. Let's see what we get out of this one. A second wave of these that don't seem as good. I think they uh, the, the first ones that went out kind of teased us and got us excited. And these last ones that have went out have had midnight hunt packs and stuff like that in them. So hopefully we won't run any of those. So this one, we have War of the Spark. We have Ixalan. We have Dominaria. We have Ravnica Allegiance. And we have a TSR. So that's a pretty decent pack for Rachel. And of course, the double Atali combo. Always good. So let's go ahead and get this TSR pack out of its cardboard prison. And now it's just in its plastic prison. And let's see what order we're going to do these in. We will do Ravnic Allegiance, Ixalan. No, we'll do Ravnic Allegiance, War of the Spark, Ixalan, Dominaria, and then Time Spiral for Rachel. Good luck. Pack number one. Let's see if we can uh, conjure up a Shockland or a Smothering Tide. Hydroid Crisis. Remember how broken that card was? Tithe Taker. We got half of it. Not the, not the Smothering Tithe, but we got the Tithe Taker. Which at one point in time, people uh, people were kind of trying to build around build around that card a little bit. Didn't really go anywhere. War of the Spark. And by the way, this is... I can tell just by the way it's sealed, this is a Belgian printed pack. And yeah. Fabrique in Belgique. I know I probably butchered that, but... We're after Liliana, the green finale. Let's see what we get. Ooh, it is a mythic though. God Eternal Kefnet. Nice little, uh, nice little surprise there. In my opinion, out of this, the, this, uh, where the spark, the best god is probably, uh, probably Oketra. That card goes hard. Ixalan. So many good cards in this set. We have the Checklands. We have Search for Escanta. Let's see what we can get. Carnage Tyrant. Man, Carnage Tyrant was a house back in the day. Sanctum Seeker. Vampire Knight. None of the cards I named. Dominaria. Up next. Of course, this year, later this year, we're returning to Dominaria. I think there's going to be Phyrexians there this time from, uh, from all the... Things people have been saying is Jaya's Immolating Inferno, Planes, Foil Warlord's Fury, and a Saperlene. All right, we got a Time Spiral pack left. We need this to redeem the four other packs. That's the thing about getting random packs like these. you They're really hit or miss. Sometimes it works out. Sometimes it doesn't. We got a Glittering Witch. And that's gorgeous, Mystic Sanctuary. Not a ton of value out of these packs, but of course it was fun to open. Got some, uh, got a little pack cracking. You know, if you if you got an itch to scratch and you don't want to have to do a whole booster box, I still think these are okay. I'll I'll do an update video 
when I get a couple more of the other ones or one of the other ones that way I can show you the difference in the way the packs are seated, that one might not be as much of a deal. Might not be as much of a deal. So I'm gonna put Rachel's card over here and then we will get Alyssa's. Good luck, Alyssa. Still searching for that elusive revised pack. If it even exists. We did hit an invasion pack for Big Fluff in the last video, which was a nice surprise. So we got the TSR. Looks like we got a little different assortment here. We got the one Atali. Let's see what the other one is. It is dual Atali. So instead of a, oh, it's, whoa. I wasn't paying attention. I just saw purple and I assumed that, I assumed this was Throne of Eldraine. It's a freaking iconic masters. Let's go. Let's freaking go. I'm happy about that. All right, we're gonna do Spark, Ixalan, Dominaria, Time Spiral, and Iconic. Sheesh. All right, we'll Spark first for Alyssa. Let me get your handmade stick. I usually print these out. Like I said, I'm a little under the weather. Just trying to, just trying to survive right now. Starting off with a Sarkon the Masterless. In the Ixalan. Unfriendly Fire. Unknown Shore. Dive Down. What a broken card. Woo! Revel in Riches. That's a big card these days. And a Foil Basic Planes. I don't know if it's still there, but like the last time I checked on it, Revel in Riches was like $20 or something, right? I always knew when this card, in standard, like I kept reading this card, I was like, man, that seems really, really good. And it was only worth a couple bucks. I think that card finally caught on. Dominaria. Let's see if we can find that Teferi. We got Banalish Marshall. This guy was in the mono white deck during the standard. Strong card. A Foil Chainer's Torment. This card was so good. Look at that. Look at the artwork on that. So spooky. Time Spiral. And we got a Masters Pack. Incredible. And I would like to thank Patrick for getting these for me because before I got the first set of the ones from my local Walmart, because we didn't have them the same time some of the other stores did, um, Patrick got me some all the way from Iowa and airmailed them to me. So uh, this wouldn't be possible without Patrick. So big, uh, big, big thanks to him. Cross and Grip, nice card there. Hive Stone and a Silence. All right, Will Iconic Masters take us to the promised land or will we be pound town good luck Alyssa okay okay Mishra's Bobble good uncommon there eight or ten dollars or so I think restoration angel super cute card and a Jesse and Thief that wasn't a bad pack that was an okay pack the Bobble saved us well that's in the video guys I'm gonna make a uh, quick little random choose for the winner of this from the last uh, last Walmart, or no, the last Redbeard, the last Underworld Games MTG video. And uh, again, if you don't care, hit that sub button. Let, let's get to 16K. That way I can give away two booster boxes this month. And as always, I love your faces, and we will catch you in the next one.